Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Thief 2 Shadows of the Metal Age. I'm Camp Jack Fisco. Come join me for an adventure. Alright, so I talked about doing this one for a while now, and I actually finally got around to getting it working and getting my recording software to be cooperative with it. So, this one is a custom campaign <coughs> made by a group of fans. I don't know who they are off the top of my head. I apologize for that. I'll actually do some digging for the next episodes. But, uh,. From what I've heard, outstanding mod, so I've really wanted a chance to take a crack at it. So, of course, you know, the audio sounds shockingly low. Let's see here. Ambient volume turned to about there. Will that do it? Ah, that's much better. I can hear it now. Okay, so the audio was just a bit low. Okay, so we are going to get started right off, and of course, you know, we got to play it on expert. That's how the game works. That's where you get to see the entire storyline, so. Here we go. The great man learns from sorrow, the lesser man learns from fear. To learn is to live, and for all there is one great truth. With every growth we must shed our old skin. There is no heart so closed that it cannot learn by pain. Third book of the essence, Amaris. Amaris? Finally! This day has finally arrived, and I'll get to set sail on my own, with my own ship! I've fought for this opportunity for so long, and now I can barely believe this day is here. I feel like a little child, filled with uncontrollable excitement. It'll be a long journey, and I'll miss my family, I know. But I've got to do this. I have to prove my worth. Not just to my family, but to myself. I'll be shipping some goods to a large city for trade. I've never been there before, but it's rumored to be full of opportunity and wealth. At least I won't have to be there alone. My cousin, Kedar, has been trading in the city for a while, and I have some cargo for him. We used to play together when we were kids. I haven't seen him in so long, but he wants me to visit his new shop. I've missed Kedar. I look forward to this challenge, and I know that whatever may lay ahead, Linjala will watch over me, and I'll enjoy every minute of my adventure, even with the dangerous waters and approaching storms. So it sounds like we're playing a very doe-eyed, do, not doe-eyed, doe-eyed woman who is awed and shocked by the lifestyle that she thinks she's jumping into. Somehow, I guess, I'm betting by the end of the series, she will be a lot more, uh, hesitate to use the word cynical, but more objective and less awe-inspired by the events that are going to go down through the course of the story. I don't know what they are, but from what I've heard, this is a good playthrough, so let's see. Search the dock for your cousin Kadar. Sounds simple enough. <clears throat> now, from what I understand, the first level is very much, uh, don't you worry about a thing, little missy. I'll take care of your cargo until you get back. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the first level is relatively non-threatening. There's no real... Nice textures. Uh, no real worries about threats, at least not initially. Okay, so where are we? Elfing Dayport Warehouse Manager. Yeah. Kedar! Oh, here he is. There you are. Hey, I was just on my way down to the docks. You're early. I've missed you. It just isn't the same at home. <laughs> I've missed you too, Sayer. I just go by Zaya now. I'm not a kid anymore. Come on, I'll take you back to my shop. I think you're really gonna like the city, Zaya. It's full of promise. You'll see. I can't wait mm -hmm. to see. Lead the way. Partial map of the city. Day gate access for after hours shipments. I think that's supposed to be shipments. Spipments. To Old Quarter, to the commercial district, and docks office. Okay, so we got a map. We have a captain's log. 
Manifest, two crates, <coughs> excuse me, poncho fruit, 45 pounds of match can extract, powdered. Yoara dragon statue, Kidar. 12 boxes of assorted gems, stones, 23 pounds, grasker gourds, one crate, Linjala figures, one crate, book of deeds. Captain's log, day five. It seems a bit dramatic to keep a captain's log in such a ship, such a small ship, an uneventful, uneventful journey. But Papa and oh wait, this is us. We're the captain. Oh, okay, so we're the captain. But Papa insisted. I'm excited about seeing Kadar again, and I hope the city is all he has promised. There were some rough winds late this afternoon, but from the northeast as I anticipated. But the ship is fine. The crate containing the Aurora Dragon was shaken from its place in the hold, and the head was broken off the statue. Kadar really needed this piece, and I hate to deliver it to him in two pieces. I'm sure there are gifted artisans in the city who can repair it at a reasonable price. I won't mention it to Kadar until I've had the chance to get it repaired myself. We'll be so we'll be excited to see one another. I doubt it comes up for a few days. Excuse me one second, guys, I gotta cough. And that ended the log, sorry. Let me um get back in. Captain's log, day seven. The sea is calm today, but it's so peaceful here. I expected to reach the city tomorrow. I've brought a small collection of Linjala statues and texts, in hopes that there will be some way of distributing them in the city. I'm unfamiliar with their religions and customs, but if nothing else, people may be attracted to them because of their foreign origins. I would never seek a prophet from Linjala, the goddess forbids it, but I'm sure she'll be pleased that I've remembered her on this trip. Okay. So we've got two healing oils as well. Definitely seems like we're walking through the city of Thief. I like the music. The atmosphere is... Stay close, it's pouring. Yeah, I know. They certainly did a good job with the atmosphere in this one. It may be pouring out here, but the city doesn't look as dangerous as I've heard. These streets are deserted. Well, I guess most of the city's not too bad, except for the poor section over to the west. There are some places there not even the city watch will go. Still, I wouldn't go out by yourself. The city's no place for a stranger, especially at a time like this. Oh, really? Let's see, can I <clears throat> lower the ambient volume slightly? Is that the music volume? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Because I want the, the vocals to be louder than the background noise. As much as I love the background ambiance and the music, <coughs> Excuse me, I want to be able to hear the, the dialogue. I will admit, while the dialogue seems slightly amateurish, it is fairly well done, considering it was done by people making the mod. So, I mean, it is well done work. Mechanist Temple. You're gonna have to tell me all about your trip when we get back, Saya. It's been so long since I've seen anyone from the family. Is anyone sure else? I hope this weather lets up soon. Does anyone else get a sense of building ominousness, or is it just me? This just—I don't know. Something about this seems off. Ow, that was brilliant. Run right into the lava. The shop's not too far from here. I hope not. We've only been walking for a mile. Okay, so what do we have here? I can't remember the last time the morning looked this dark. Mm -hmm. You know, just a couple streets over to the west of where we are right now, I had a friend tell me he saw a ghost. Really? Would you believe it? Some of the old buildings over there are supposed to be haunted. Haunted, you say? We should probably steer clear of those, seeing as how we don't have any holy water. Valen Weapons. Hey, why are the day gates closed? What's going on here? Hey guys, looky what I found. Uh, oh dear. And they killed our cousin. Great. Yeah, no, no, no. You're gonna like these arrows. They're sharp. Why are they trying to kill me? I get them trying to kill me. Why is he trying to kill me? Let's see how you like that. 
Aren't you part of the city watch? Why are you trying to kill me? What's going on here? Holy crap. Eh. Love to hide, but they're right up my butt. Come on, oh, can't go in the sewers. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Hello? I guess we're going into the graveyard. Must be haunted. This is why they won't come in. Won't get away. Give up now. We've got your ship. They stole our ship. Lovely. Uh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. What was your first clue? The fact that our cousin was killed, or the fact that we went to run and hide into a haunted cathedral? Looks like we're stuck. Wherever we're going, it's through, not back. Okay, so... The question becomes... Where the hell are we, and where the hell are we going? Well, it's certainly a fast way to drop you in. The only person you know is your cousin, and they're dead, so... Wait, isn't N supposed to be leaning forward or something? Okay, no, that's objectives. I do not. That's zoom. I didn't want to do that. Okay, that's cancel zoom. So what? How do I? I don't remember how to lean. Oh, there we go. Lean forward. <laughs> Never mind. I'm an idiot. I forgot my keybinds. Okay. Well, we found the backyard, but I don't think that's the way out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Frog in my throat. Well, so far I don't see any parchment or anything to read or anything to get. We, we have no weapons. We just have two healing potions. And while it sounded like we took damage, I don't see any of my health bars lower, so I assume we didn't? We got a locked door. Uh, the knowledge depository will help you open this door. Search well. Okay, thanks, uh, I guess. So the ghosts are giving us advice. Uh, okay. The hell? <clears throat> Where are we, man? All the lighting lights, lovely. This is obviously <coughs> some kind of hammer temple or something. Well, we can pick up the rock. Can we climb the vine? No. Okay. So. This seems ominous. Oh, this is very reminiscent of Pagans and Constantine. Okay. Guess we go take a gander. Basement key. Okay, so we found the key to the door. All glowy and smoky like, 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 yeah, um, yeah, no. No. <laughs> I say no. Is there anything else out here? Okay, so... They certainly dropped us right in the shit, holy cow. Alright, let's go check upstairs real quick before we go wandering into the basement. I heard that. Put the key away for now. Window sill, but it doesn't look like anything's out there. I'm 
probably gonna turn the brightness. Okay. So I'm probably gonna turn the brightness up for you guys, because it's a little dark here, and even I'm having trouble seeing. I usually have a light that I have on in the room. So I can see the keyboard, even though it's a illuminated keyboard. So I think I'm gonna turn that off so I can see a little better, because man, it's dark. Damn. I can't get out of this place. I can't understand how the door can be closed so fast by the wind while I barely opened it in a half an hour. And those horrible sounds and steps, they're getting closer every minute. Who or what can live in such a place? Tinker used to warn me about something strange here. I should have listened to him. Oh, my candle almost burned out. Soon I'll face the darkness. Whatever is coming, I'll be not an easy opponent. Um... So how'd that work out for you? Guessing it didn't go well. Um, hello. Slide through the. Get through the. Hello. Seem to be stuck. That, that, there we go. I'm free. That was weird. Okay, you just keep on spinning. Don't mind me. Okay, so. About that. Is that the sword we can pick up, maybe? No. So this is just the stairs to go back down, right? Yeah, okay, so. I thought I saw a staircase earlier. Well, this whole place certainly screams, yeah, right. Die! Startled the crap out of me there, buddy. I know the place is haunted, but I actually wouldn't expect to see a ghost right there. What the hell? Excerpt from Lan Rulon's Life and History Notebook, Chapter 4. Because of my reputation as a swift note-taker, and as one who is deeply intrigued by the matters of history, I was given the opportunity to, witness to, a to be witness to a special interrogation by the Hammerites. Upon that day, they had captured a young acolyte of a group known as the Hand Brotherhood. I had heard of this brotherhood, and had seen two I believed to be these strange mages, but had never spoken directly to one before. As it was, this acolyte did not speak with a strange echo that pervades the voices of the mages, even apparent if they are in, the, in a small room. So it was my belief that he was a mere apprentice of some sort. He was caught trying to sneak into a hammer library, but opened the wrong door at the wrong time. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've done that plenty of times in Thief. Two hours later, I arrived, and Father Dorian proceeded to question the apprentice. At first, he would not speak, but his tongue loosened a bit when one of the hammers brought in a pot of boiling water. The mere sight sent him into fits, but he soon calmed himself and revealed that his allegiance to the Hand Brotherhood. His eyes were dark, as was his hair. And th though youthful, he held a permanent scowl as he glared at the Hammerites and myself. He revealed that he went to the library of his own accord. <clears throat> and that he might acquire a few books and return thereby impressing his teachers. Both Father Dorian and myself doubted this claim. Little as we knew of the Brotherhood, we were certain that they would be unimpressed by such with petty thievery. Soon the head Hammerite interrogator came into the room with what can only be described as instruments of torture. At first he poked and prodded the young mage, who still refused to speak. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, then, and had a, a hand... Ugh. Let's try it in English. Then, and I had to look away at this, greater measures were taken. I watched Father Doran, who did flinch more than once. His eyes clo He even closed his eyes for a few moments. His expression pained. Finally, the boy spoke out the truth. He was cast out from the Brotherhood for attempting to gain forbidden knowledge, and he had hoped he might find that knowledge in the Hammerite Library to use against his former teachers. Sad thing, that. I left before I found out his name, but he was sentenced to jail for a while, and then was to be turned over to the mages. I do not know if this ever occurred. Chapter 2. As it stands, it's entirely possible that the modern-day mages descended from those pre-precursors, but I have no proof of this. <coughs> Excuse me. The precursors artifacts that I have seen point to a society far too different to be the ancestor of what we now, what is now the brother, Hand Brotherhood. Not only that, but the mages come from far beyond the East Shore. My attempts to speak with a member of the Brotherhood had, even thwar had been thwarted at every turn. Not only did they... D not only don't they like visitors, they also shun those with any serious questions. A pity. Chapter 16. That's a hell of a jump. Of course, the strangest thing was their skin shone a bright green. Their hair flowed out of them, and I felt as though I might fall under their spell. Far away though I was, I couldn't help but stare, and it seemed 
as though I was growing nearer to them, despite the fact that my feet were firmly planted on the ground. They were beautiful, these strange women. At last, their glowing yellow eyes caught sight of me, and I tensed. Their hair rose about them, and I returned, running like a coward who, that I am. Who knows what tortures I might have had were I captured. I think about this often. Chapter 17. Okay, we're on the final page. Despite those things, I am still considered a historian. Though the pagans are interesting, there doesn't appear to be any evidence that the trickster was ever a tangible deity, or that he could somehow be reborn. It just isn't feasible. The hammers, of course, vehemently deny this, but what am I to say? They just won't face the facts, no matter how clearly presented, and I do feel that they may take my facts to be blasphemy. Still, all their training is good, even if there is no trickster to do battle with. <laughs> Think again, dude. Someone must protect the weak and the innocent of the city. We certainly cannot rely on the local government to lift a finger against the criminals. How I long for a strong hand of justice to swiftly smite down the scum of the gutters. Okay, and I'm actually going to have to call the video there, because we're already over 20 minutes, and these are supposed to be 15-minute episodes. Okay, so because it's a Thief playthrough, it'll probably be 15 to 20-minute episodes on a given episode, just to let you guys know, so in case I run a little over. So, thank you everybody for watching. You guys are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me, and I hope you enjoyed them. So, you all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, keep up another video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to tag the like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, goodbye, everybody.